Hi, I'm Tim Alden, and today I'm going to talk to you about our Class 26 work platform. I get a lot of questions about how to install it, so figured we'd do a quick little video here. I put the all thread into the table, and I put some Loctite in there, and I'll let these sit overnight so it gets good and solid. And then I'll come back, and I'll put one of the nuts, lock washer, and then one of the smaller washers that these come with. They throw in a bunch of extras. Um, that you don't really need, but I use a smaller one and then another nut. And you can let this, you can get it set up and test it for a while before you put Loctite on these. But for the most part, if you do the front bolts, you get that washer right at about four and five eighths of an inch. And then the back ones, we're going to go right about four and a half. That usually sits flush and level there. And they give you enough washers and wing nuts that you could put one on each one. I don't use but just one in the back but because it, it keeps it from tipping forward. So once you get these set up where you like them, you can put uh, Loctite on these as well and then they won't move around or loosen up over time. So we're just going to slide this on here. And then you might have to wiggle the bolts around until they sit flush down there. And then I just put the one washer on the back side because if you just put one on the front side, it would have a pivot point and would want to rotate there. And so it doesn't get a whole lot of stress on this. And I like to have this work platform just slightly lower than our cylinder arm. That way things slide onto there smoothly and they don't catch on the other side if it was a little bit higher. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for stopping by.